What's up guys, Video Game Guru here. Today I have a Dragon Age 2 DLC video. This is for the vault room and I'm going to show all the apparatuses and then the tile puzzles. So when you enter the first room, you're going to want to choose the white one and open up the two doors on the left and then choose the black to open up the far right which allows you to get the blue apparatus. Then once you have the blue apparatus, open the blue door on the left side and take out the rune golem. Uh, you'll face two rune, two maybe three rune golems, and once you beat them, a painting like that'll pop up. Now, once that pops up, you've kind of completed that area. But I also, I'm also going to show you guys right here how to get to the two two treasure rooms. So you can see it on the left. It has nothing to do with going forward there, and they have quite a bit of gold in them, so I would suggest going into them. But you're going to want to put one color there, and since you're going to get into green, you're going to want to put yellow and blue down. So grab yellow, open up that door, and then go around and get the blue. And then you can just put it on the mixer, and after it's lifted, you can pick up the green. Yeah, we got about 10,000 sovereigns, some junk, and I think a ring or two. But you can see that thing right there. Now, what you're going to want to do when you get to the flame room <coughs> is look at the picture, and there will be faceless guys and guys with masks. Now, the guys with no faces are considered blank tiles, and the guys with masks are considered flip tiles. So you just want to make the tile, <coughs> tile puzzle look exactly like the painting. Now... I screw up here. I have um, I have a dot, like on the wrong side or whatever. I have one flipped on the wrong side, but I correct it here shortly. All right. So now that that's fixed, the outer flame ring will go down, and you can collect the treasures, or you can continue on with the tiles. Now you're going to want to go to the right room next because it's similar to the first one. And uh, it's just like the first one really. You just choose the apparatuses, go through the doors, do that stuff. So choose the black apparatus and open up these two doors. Then you're going to want to um, go get the white apparatus. And once you have that, open up the white door on the left side. Just a note, if you open up the orange door, any black or white doors will close, so it can be a little annoying, but it doesn't really do much considering you don't need the orange ever. Okay, so once you've got the blue, head to the right and open up this door, and you're going to want to face another rune golem. Now, I put the blue in here because there's a purple over there, but you can just face the rune golem and then put the blue in. Okay, now we have our second painting, so we're going to want to loot the second treasure room. Earlier we put the blue one down, now we're going to want to see. You don't need the orange, I made a bad decision. Anyway, so once you've got the black doors open, you're going to want to get the red apparatus, I believe it is. I don't know why I keep picking that one up. Anyway, the red apparatus is in the rune golem room. Make sure you don't make these mistakes. I got a little confused uh, for a second there. I don't know why I thought blue and orange made purple, but it's blue and red. <laughs> okay, so just like before, put the red down, and then pick up your purple and go loot the room. This one has a little less gold, I think, but it doesn't really matter. I have like 600 sovereigns, so I don't care. So just like before, you're going to want to copy the painting. This one's just in a simple H shape right in the center. And after this, you're going to want to head straight across the fire room to the, eh, the hardest, I guess you would say. I spent hours on this one. Now, this next room is 
quite a bit different. You're going to want to flip these tiles in a specific order to fully unlock the face underneath. Now, I'm going to say start on the top left and then just follow the video because if I talk you might get a little bit confused. Success, we've unlocked the painting. Now you're going to want to co go copy this painting into the um, tiles in the main room and then you can loot the treasure. Uh, there's a really good armor, it's better than Armor of the Champion depending on what level you pick it up at. I'm level 27 and it gives me like way more armor. Um, thanks for watching, rate, comment, subscribe, and see you guys later.